Hello everyone! By now, you will know that Donald Trump has won the US presidential election. The bigger question then is, how is the market looking to react moving forward? And so far, that reaction has been quite positive with the share price of the market of the key indexes, US indexes rallying post Donald Trump win. In this article by CNBC Pro, it looks to highlight which might be some of the Trump traits that could see further gains moving forward. Now, based on historical track record uh, using what has happened post the Donald Trump's 2016 presidential win, certain industries have been performing quite well. One of those is that of the energy industry. We know that Donald Trump is pretty much pro oil. So for this industry, there looks to be quite a fair bit of tailwinds. Another industry is that of defense stocks and with a Trump administration, Street believes that there could be an increase in the defense budget. So that will bode well for defense stocks. And last but not least, it will be looking at semiconductor stocks. And despite the fact that there could be tariffs being imposed on US imports, especially from China, the researcher over here believes that there's likely going to be minimal impact on some eyes, given that only a minority of them are shipped to the US. So these are the three industries and the article also highlighted a number of stocks that could be a play on the Donald Trump win moving forward. Now, I previously highlighted a defense counter for your reference sometime in mid-August. That counter was Exxon Enterprise. So I highlighted the counter when the share price was trading somewhere around $370 per share, already having rallied quite a fair bit back in early August, likely as a result of a results-driven rally. But the momentum was strong and was highlighting why this particular counter was worth a look. And since then, the share price have appreciated a further 60 to 70 percent, almost doubling within a very short period of just roughly about two months. So for those who have taken action, congratulations. But I would like to highlight that it's by no means a recommendation on my part. I'm not uh, licensed to give any recommendations, so please take whatever that I have talked about as a form of idea generation, as a form of education. Please do your own necessary due diligence. So if you make money, congratulations. I don't mind you buying me a cup of coffee, but if not, if you lose money, please don't come knocking on my door as well. Huh? Okay, so I'd like to get that clear before I go on to my next idea generation. Now, one part of industry that the article did not highlight, which is noticeably missing, is that of cryptocurrency play. And by now, we also know that Donald Trump is pretty much pro-crypto. And post his election win, you can see that Bitcoin prices have been seeing a strong rally, finally breaching the $80,000 key resistance level. And it's now trading almost close to $90,000, which is an all-time Hi, so that is looking pretty positive for the cryptocurrency market. I know that quite a number of you have been burned in the last sell off of the cryptocurrency, myself included. So I'm pretty wary when it comes to investing and trading cryptocurrency. What I did was basically to gain exposure through this particular industry or niche sector through the usage of options. So I've highlighted to my students at the start of October, roughly about a month back, that it might be worthwhile to take a look at some of these crypto link stocks such as Mara, such as Riot. So these are Bitcoin miners, which are essentially leveraged play towards cryptocurrency prices, particularly on that of Bitcoin prices. So today, if the price of Bitcoin is up 10%, you expect the price of this miners to have a more leveraged price appreciation play. Of course, conversely, if share price of Bitcoin is to decline, this miners will also likely see a more drastic price sell off. So my preferred way of engaging in this kind of risky trade is through the usage of options. One is because 
yes, I can get leverage through options. But more importantly, number two, the key reason is because I'm able to control my risk right from day one. So I know what is my maximum exposure in terms of my capital outlay. I can not lose more than my capital outlay. So in the case of Riot, for example, I'm risking a maximum of say $200 per option contract to take a punt that the share price of cryptocurrencies, etc., will rally, and subsequently that of this miners will also rally. And so far, that trade has panned out, which have basically doubled my returns over a very short period of time. Now, I did not get into Riot or Mara just um, based on my own emotions. I actually use this platform to guide me in terms of my entry. So by now, those of you who have followed me would know that I'm not really a technical person. I'm more of a fundamental background. So when it comes to trading, when it comes to timing the entry, I would just like to use a simple platform to help me to gauge my timing. And my preferred platform is that of using the Traders GPS platform. So this is a very simplistic platform, which allows me to be able to identify stocks that is seeing a rebound in terms of their momentum at the early stage. So over here, Riot was a counter which I've identified sometime in early October that there could be a rebound in terms of its momentum. And I highlighted that to my students that this could also be worth taking a closer look as a result of the upcoming election. If Donald Trump is to win, then the returns from getting into riot platforms early would be quite substantial. True enough, that rally has panned out. But over here, you can see that there's already a signal in the start of October for entry. And today, if you have entered based on the first signal over here, where there's a presence of a green arrow, there's a presence of a trend and pulse factor, the rally from then on would have been quite substantial. So your gains would, on the stock itself would have been somewhere around the 75% level. Now imagine if you have entered earlier on using options, the returns would have been even more substantial. So I did not catch the early rally. I entered somewhere around here when there was the presence of a second arrow. Since then, of course, the share price appreciation would also have been quite substantial, roughly about 60-70%. In the case of my option position, it has more than doubled. Okay, it has more than doubled. So this provides me with an early indication in terms of which are some of the stocks to be entering early. So it's pretty easy to identify the entry trades based on the presence of the green arrow, presence of the trend and pulse factor. And of course, the next question is when do you look to exit? So we'll let the market tell us when to exit. I'm not looking to prematurely exit. I will only exit when the share price of the candlestick changes from blue to red. That could be an early signal for me to look to exit. So it's very easy to enter and subsequently follow the signal to exit. Now, today, if you ask me, is there still an opportunity to be trading Riot Platform post the strong rally as i mentioned since the first signal it has already rallied roughly about 70 percent now my honest opinion is that today if you are looking at it from a medium term perspective which is to trade it on a roughly about four to six months time horizon we might already be slightly too late into the game okay there's actually quite a number of arrows already being present and therefore we might not want to be looking at an entry if your time horizon is only roughly about four to six months. However, if you do have a longer time frame today, if you believe that this is just the beginning of a mega rally in cryptocurrency prices as a result of the Donald Trump tailwind, then now could also still be a time to enter. So for a longer time horizon, we can shift over from a day chart to a week chart. So we can go over to a weekly chart and you can see over here that there is actually a signal to enter on a longer term perspective. Candlestick has just changed from red 
to blue and that is one particular signal that potentially you can be looking to position for a longer time horizon what might be a longer time horizon i would say roughly about one year or even more than one year so you have got to be prepared to be in this trade for roughly that kind of duration now if we were to come out and look at a bigger picture the next resistance level will be somewhere around the $20 level. So from the current share price of about $15 to about $20, if that rally can be sustained, it's still quite a decent, I would say 30% upside on a stock basis. And if you execute it using options, that potential return would have been even larger. Now, if the momentum is strong, those prices can be achieved within a short period of time as well not necessarily requiring one year but if you do have an even bigger positive view of cryptocurrency prices especially that of bitcoin and believe that it could actually be looking to test the last high back in 2021 there about all right 2020 2021 there about whereby the prices of riot platform skyrocketed all the way closer to $80 per share, then of course now could still be early days. So for me, I'm looking to trade it both on a medium as well as on a longer term basis. On a medium term basis, since I've already got a position, I will hold still. I will not be looking to trigger another position because I might be a little bit too late at this point of time looking at this current counter. But if I do have a longer time horizon stretching roughly to be about one year, then based on the weekly chart, based on the signals given over here, we could still be in the early stages. Okay, candlestick has just changed from red to blue. It could now be in a next uptrend play. No guarantee. There's no guarantee. Of course, it could come back down and become red. But that is where I'll follow the system accordingly to enter and exit. So for those of you who are interested to find out more about the Traders GPS platform, you can try to click on the link over here and check out the preview being conducted by Mr. Colin Sal, that is the founder and creator of this particular platform. He has basically taught a lot of students how to go about trading on a very simplistic manner. And a lot of students have actually benefited from this pretty easy manner to execute trading stocks based on some form of timing factor so what we are doing over here is to combine some macro picture outlook versus that of timing basis this is now how i usually look to trade my positions i hope that you have found this video useful and if you have taken action and moving forward if you do make some money remember to give me a shout out but again if you lose money Please don't come knocking on my door. Huh? This is something that you need to know it is quite risky. Or in fact, it is pretty risky to be executing or trading on crypto related counters. The volatility is high and therefore, please make sure you risk manage accordingly. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys in the next video.